We're beginning the program this hour with some breaking news. Long-time MP Russell Broadbent has quit the Liberal Party to sit on the crossbench. That's after losing pre-selection for his seat of Monash. Political editor Andrew Clennell has the details. So, Andrew, did this take his coalition colleagues by surprise? Well, yes and no. So, apparently, from what I'm told by Liberal sources, in the last sitting week, a couple of months back, or a month and a half back, he indicated if he lost the pre-selection to the party room that he would be quitting the Liberal Party. He's now got up in the Liberal Party room this morning and said, I'm going, and walked out, said, I'm quitting the Liberal Party. I was humiliated at the weekend, Liberal sources are telling me. The members have spoken. He lost the pre-selection 161 votes to 16. But I guess it's unwelcome news for Peter Dutton from this point of view. It takes his numbers in the House of Representatives down to 56 of the 151 members there, and we've got that even bigger crossbench. Now, it doesn't look like, from what Russell Broadbent has said, that he will be running again as an independent, but the Liberal Party only holds this seat by 2.9%. We know they've got a number of marginals in Victoria, so overall, I don't think it's great news. Apparently, he did praise Peter Dutton on the way out, Russell Broadbent, but yet yeah, just getting up there in the Liberal Party room, which is before the Coalition Party room here this morning, and saying, I'm out of here, I've been humiliated by this pre-selection after 25 years' service in the parliament. He hasn't always been on the same side of the leadership on matters like asylum seekers, etc. Russell Broadbent, he's had an interesting career in that respect. We've had a statement from the Victorian Liberal Party president, Philip Davis, who's thanked him for his service. He says the Victorian Liberal Party would like to thank Russell Broadbent for his 25 years of service as a Liberal member in the federal parliament. We wish him well for the future. So a bit of a shock, but perhaps not to his colleagues, Tom. It's an interesting seat. So 2.9% of the Liberal Party, a 4% swing. They've held it since 2004. So it was safe. It's now marginal. And Labor running a um, younger woman last time, Jessica O'Donnell. I'm not saying you always have to do that, but it goes with the zeitgeist, doesn't it? It's not actually pre-selecting a woman for a safe seat, but it's still a Liberal seat and it was a safe seat. So it's the Liberal Party, I suppose... Um, putting words or putting action into the words on increasing the number of women and a bit of party renewal. I guess that's the other angle on, on all of this once it settles down. Well, I think one Liberal's called this a massive dummy spit to me this morning and that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, interesting implications too, perhaps. Um, it's been speculated to me if you lose a pre-selection, then you get a severance payout, whereas if you lose an election, you don't. But... I don't think this sign of internal division and him quitting will assist the Liberals in this seat at the next election. They may well still win it. It could have been a lot cleaner. Perhaps he should have just served his time out and left the Parliament. Yeah, a little bit messy, um, I guess, there's at least plenty of time to go. But uh, interesting detail on that. Andrew Clennell, thank you.